All right, this is a comprehensive look at the XPatter profile for Rust. I've made quite a few changes to it. Uh, just to point out, this is only a demonstration of the profile. Uh, if you need help on how to use XPatter, check the video description. So let's get into it and go over what I changed. All right, the biggest change that seemed like people wanted was I gave it a true left stick sprint toggle um, so forward is normal speed click it I'm sprinting and when I let go that's a true like a true first person shooter now I'm back to normal speed I don't have to click that again which is a uh, pretty cool with X powder so yeah sprinting stop walking now the duck is still a toggle you'll have to click that to stand back up. I kept that as a toggle because if I made it like the sprint, you know, you'd be crouching and then when you stop moving, you'd stand up, which kind of defeats the purpose of crouching. So all right, we got sprint. Uh, another big change was the use button. That was kind of driving me crazy because with Rust, when you click use, you have options and then you would have to fight with your stick so I changed that when you're holding use you can now use the left stick for up and down which is a little tricky at first but once you do it a couple times it feels really nice so I got that changed um, I modified uh, when you hold in the modifier for the d-pad I changed that, uh, so use is a laser for your gun, and reload is flashlight. So those have been changed. And jump is to, uh, is mouse click one for use. So let me show you. I'm holding the modifier. I want to make something, I can click A to do it. And also while you're holding this modifier, the mouse movement has been slowed down just to make it a little bit easier to go through your inventory. And another addition while I'm holding in that left bumper modifier, left stick click will bring up the options and then right stick click is also the same. I remapped so I can eat. Boom, split. Boom, spl split, you know, just makes it a little bit quicker. Um, okay, so what else has been changed? The voice, this is now a toggle. As long as that was clicked, I'm now chatting. So just click it again to turn it off. I didn't have that in there in the original because they did not have that little icon up there, so you would never know if you had your chat on or off. So that's another change. Uh, and then I made select to be music on or off, which you're probably never going to use, but I wanted that in there anyways. So okay, that's what's changed. Now if you're coming to this fresh, just cover all the basics here. B will be your inventory. The D-pad is inventory one through four. I'm not going to use my bandage. And then holding in the modifier, left will be item five, right is item six. While the modifier is held in, up and down is mouse scroll. So what else do we got to go over? I think that actually might be everything. Uh, well, start is pause. But yeah, the biggest changes are sprint toggle and uh, holding in that modifier, you know, making the inventory a little bit more manageable. So you can click around, plus the mouse speed's been slowed down. So that is all I have right now. Uh, but, you know, as they add things to the game, I'll keep changing this and revising it. But, yeah, that's all I got. I gotta get out there and slaughter some pigs.
So I'll see you all around.